everyone. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do our weekend love scope. Now, I'm going to, because I am getting it up so late, um, I'm going to, I already prayed over the cards to go from Friday the 4th um, until Monday the 7th. And I've realized when I already thought about that in my head, that there's a full moon on Monday the 7th. So that's cool. So I like the fact that I'm doing that. And of course, I'll still do your morning Oracle cards on Monday. But I felt drawn to do that when I just realized when I turned on the video that there's a full moon on Monday. So cool. I'm not, I'm, I mean, I know a little bit about astrology, but I'm not, I'm not like, super knowledgeable on that stuff, but I just thought that was a cool coincidence. Okay, so I chose this deck for, I'm going to do, you guys seem to like the singles and the couples, so I'm going to keep it that way. Um, what am I using? Oh, yeah, Tarot of Dreams by Cyril Marchetti. Beautiful deck, but it's a big deck. Love messages only, guys. Yeah, and I'm going to keep it at the nine card spread. Okay. Six of cups. Nice. Six of coins. This is will be the six of pentacles. Two sixes right in a row. Five of pentacles. The Knight of Swords. Page of Swords. This is for singles, okay? The Lovers. Eight of Swords. It's Faith in this deck, but it's the Hierophant. And the Hermit. The Hermit in this deck. Isn't he awesome? At the bottom of the deck, all right, this is going to be the overall energy. We have the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Swords is under that, and I could see you guys are worried here, too. All right. Singles, what's up? Okay. With the Six of Cups and the Hermit. Some of you could really... Let me put this over here so you guys can see. Some of you could be um, hung up from a... Hung up on a Virgo. Like a straight up Virgo. I have the Six of Cups right here. I have the Hermit here. You definitely could be dealing with the Virgo from your past. Um, let me just really look at this. And I feel like you're either having a hard time letting go of this past relationship or letting this person go from your life. You know, for some of you, you are definitely still hung up on this person. And I feel like this is talking about 
your day-to-day -day life. You know, I feel like you're unable to date or unable to meet somebody because you either feel like you don't fit in or you don't feel like you can meet the right kind of person. It's like you feel that you're not clicking with the right kind of people. But the cards are saying that you do need to make the decision. You do, do you, a decision is definitely made. You definitely need to get out and about more because you're not getting out enough. And I kind of see that you're either tied up with different things. You're either tied up at work, hobbies, whatever, but you are not really focused on romance, relationships, or intimacy. Like, these cards are clearly saying that some of you singles need to come out of your daily activities, make time for relationships, and you also need to get out of your head about how you feel about relationships. Like, you need to stop with the with the negative self-talk. Like, and make the decision to get out and... and I want to say you, you might need to look in a new environment. You know, there is, there is something here about online communication as well, like social media... or dating websites. There is so much that could be said about that, about that back and forth that you do. You know, the social, social media, maybe a Virgo or someone from the past. You know, but the past relationship with the Virgo is either not going anywhere over the next couple of days. It, it's not progressing. And you don't have and you don't know how to handle that. Or or even reach out to that Virgo. Like in any other way except online. You're not sure how you should communicate with them. And you're not sure how you should let them know how you feel. You know, for some of you, this is online dating. But not finding satisfactory individuals. And again, you know, the cards are saying that you do need to get out and about more. You need to physically get out and meet people. Because honestly, dating right now seems to be a burden for some of you. Uh, it's like you feel like I don't have enough to do it. You just don't, you just don't know. Or you're, you're, you just don't want to and that others of you could really just be hung up on someone from the past and, and you don't even want to think about dating right now now those of you that are interested in someone from the past I, I do not see you opening up to this person or this over the weekend. I, I'm actually going to take a look at that. But I just get a sense that I don't think that this Virgo is emotionally either available or 
They're not emotionally connected to you in a romantic way. Yeah, let's do that because I'm not. Um, I, I do feel like that this Virgo really is either emotionally unavailable or they're not emotionally connect, connected to you in a romantic way. It could be that even this Virgo feels this way about you and doesn't know how to communicate it to you. You know, it could go either it could go either way as well. But you're just like I don't have the time. I have too much going on. I don't want to worry about dating or relationships. But you're definitely dealing with a Virgo and either you can't communicate to this Virgo or that Virgo can't communicate to you the way they the way they actually feel. All right, yeah, let's look at this Knight of Swords. Um, I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight Mini. Okay, so on the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups again. Oh, you're, you guys are definitely hung up on somebody from the past, and it's a Virgo. The Eight of Swords. Very strange. I usually don't get reversals in my cards. Nine of Cups is at the bottom for those of you that care. Just curious to see. Okay. Um, so, again, I feel like Someone is communicating with someone from the past or wanting to, but they're not fit. They're, they're not confident that that it, it'll be received. It'll be well received. You know, maybe it wasn't on the best of terms you know, or you're worried because you guys haven't spoken in a while. Maybe things didn't end on the best of terms. It just feels like you're worried that the communication is not going to be reciprocated. Let's look at the Eight of Swords. Ace of Cups. Three of Cups. The Four of Swords. You guys are worried over this beautiful blessing. One more there. Unbelievable. You really are worried. Definitely. You got why are you guys so worried? <clears throat> Listen, I think you a lot of you are wanting to start something beautiful here. It would be a beautiful blessing to have something with this Virgo. Like a blessing from the heavens, a blessing from the universe. But 
but you don't know how to communicate it. I think, you know, a lot of you, you don't even know how to get out of your own head. No offense, I'm just telling you what I'm getting here. Into your negative head space is really what I want to say. You know, because you're thinking this person is either going to react a certain way and you're kind of negative about it. And for those of you that it doesn't apply, this is simply saying you... you It's simply about dating. I would say the Eight of Swords, you know, with these cards, is saying, again, you need to get out and about more. Meet new people. It's going to be a blessing for you. So if you're just stuck, you know, at home, you're not doing anything, You know, you're 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 caught up in your in your current projects, work stuff. That you're not even making an effort, you know, to get out there. And I kind of feel that 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 you know, what you're thinking about that's what's on your mind. You're contemplating. It's it's saying that, you know, if you want thing, you know, want this thing, you have to go out and, and and get it, right? You know, but right now you're in you're in a negative space. You're focused on the negative of a of a relationship, even though you know you want the positive. You know, yeah, you're focused on negative self talk. Pessimistic views. You're not able to enjoy romance. Enjoy the fun of romance. You know, the Hierophant reminds, reminds you that, you know, to have fun. Don't don't be so serious with the hierophant. You know, don't be so worried, you know, that something is is going to go wrong. You know, just go with it. Go out, have fun, enjoy yourself. That's what it's all that's what it's all about right now till Monday. You know, those of you that this is concerning a Virgo. You are not being open and honest with expressing your feelings. And I feel like you're just kind of secretly monitoring this Virgo. But you're not being honest about what you're wanting or what you're desiring. Even though you know what you want. And you know what you desire. Or it could be vice versa. It could be someone else. But this is definitely a weekend where you're aware of 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 it. You know, if it's if it's you doing it, you're acknowledging it. Knowing that you have to make a decision to either tell this person or move on from it. I kind of feel like when I look at these two cards, you know, because the Hermit and the Hierophant are sitting like this, that maybe some of you will enlighten this Virgo, or maybe the, the Virgo will, will enlighten you. But a lot of you just definitely hung up on this Virgo or just don't want don't want nothing to do with it. You know, the Nine of Swords is under there again too. That is really weird.
the six of pentacles, or the, oh, the ten of cups, never mind, I'm losing it, um, alright, let's pull some love cards for you guys, For yourself it's time to take back control of your life yeah some of you just either need to tell this person or just free yourself from the whole situation it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so i think if you tell this person how you feel and you open up it will be reciprocated it is a blessing Oh, maybe you see some of you might getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. So I guess it could go either way. It could go either way for you guys. Hey, some of you guys could take the initiative. You know, don't sit around and wait. Okay. Uh, I don't. I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to use these cards again. So I'm not. Um, this deck is also by um, Cyril Marchetti as well. Um, Gateway to the Divine. This is couples, if I didn't say that. the sun page of coins page of pentacles seven of pentacles I like it so far nine of pentacles High Priestess. The Lovers. Again. Wow. The Hierophant. Again. This looks nice though so far. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. And the Six of Cups again for you in this deck, in this reading too. Wow. Okay. That's very interesting. Okay. Couples. This looks nice. Wow. Some of you are really getting married. Let me really look at this. Yeah. Some of you guys are really getting married. Or proposed to, maybe even. Wow, the Nine of Cups is under this. Wow. Wow. 
couples. This looks beautiful, really. Okay. All right. Some of you guys are definitely going to be taking your relationship to the next level. You could either be <laughs> getting engaged. There could definitely be a wedding ceremony. Absolutely. For those of you that this applies to, really, I want to say congratulations because that's just beautiful. Some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant or there will absolutely be a birth this weekend. And for those of you that that applies to, again, congratulations. That's beautiful. Wow. With that being said, I see new beginnings in your relationship with your partner. We have the sun and the ace of pentacles, you know, on the opposite sides here of the reading. These are two very, very positive cards, you know, bringing light and positivity to the reading. So I do, I feel like something that you have been Secretly, something that you have you have secretly been desiring within your relationship is finally coming true. It's coming to light. It's coming to fruition. And for some of you, honestly, I just keep getting wedding. And I want to say for those of you that are getting married, getting engaged, this is definitely... Really, guys, a relationship that is, that, you know, that, that has been very spiritually blessed. Because whenever I have the high priestess and the hierophant, I feel like this is a couple that is deeply spiritually connected, to be honest. I feel like, honestly, like... You guys, that this is this. You guys are twin flame. I've never said that in a reading before, ever. Like you really are spiritually connected. You, you're definitely meant to be in each other's lives right now. You know it. It. It's destined. You know, there is something very substantial that you're meant to do together. And I think this is a beautiful reading, however this applies. You know, keep in mind it is a general reading. But however this applies to you, there's a lot of success in this relationship. If you, if you are already married, have children, you know, you're settled down. This is an amazing weekend for you to spend time together, be romantic, be intimate, you know, reflect on what you have built up together in the past. You know, there's something here about reconnecting romantically and having a lot of intimacy. And I also want to say fun. Maybe you're talking about going, going away somewhere. You know, but financially... You know, you just don't think that, like, that you could afford it or that. But you definitely want to go somewhere. You just want to get away this weekend and enjoy each other. Guys, do it, do what you can to make that happen. Because I, I, I do see it will be very beautiful if you do this. Like, I don't even feel the need to clarify any cards, but this is very, I'm going to, I'm going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Let's just be sure about this reading.
I'm sorry, I'm using the mini radiant uh, for you guys too. I really want to shuffle these really good here. Okay. Death. Something's definitely transforming in your relationship. Oh, wow. Guys, I can't make this up. Two of Cups. Oh, you... That's a marriage card. You, you guys are getting married. Somebody's getting married. There's a wedding going on. That's beautiful. Listen, your relationship is transforming. If you've been talking about getting married, it's happening. You're definitely moving into the next phase in your relationship. You could even be moving in together. There is communication here concerning wedding. That's honestly what I feel. Let's look at the Hierophant. Swords reversed. Seven of Pentacles. I can't believe there's another reversal in this deck. Oh, come on. And the Wheel of Fortune. Guys, listen. Some of you could be worried about getting married. You know, you could have been waiting for a while for this person to propose. This is karma. This is destiny. This is happening. You have probably been asking for this for a long time. And it's finally here. You're on the path that you're meant to be on. You could have been waiting a while. For, you could be, you could actually have been waiting a while for your wedding day to come and, and now it's finally here and it's exciting and beautiful. But I, you're a little bit worried with the Three of Swords reversed. You're worried. I'm seeing that as mental, just being in the head. You're worried. Because there's not nothing. This is really beautiful. There's nothing to be worried about. I would have been more worried if this was in the upright. Nah, I still would have thought you were in the head. Or mentally exhausted from planning your wedding. Literally. Guys, this is beautiful. I mean, and, and just... really meant to be and you're meant to do something something amazing together this has got to be one of the most beautiful couples readings I've seen probably ever I never use the word twin flame never guys beautiful make it a great weekend leave your comments because really this was absolutely beautiful all right guys I will see you Monday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.